John Anderson with a little more deep water. We're going to talk about diet and some tricks that are going to allow you to stay on track with diet. A few rules, a few secrets, a few steps. So here we go. First thing is you have to prepare to succeed. You have to basically make sure that tomorrow's preparation is done today before you go to bed. So that's step one. You are not going to go to bed tonight until tomorrow's food is completely prepped. Um, meaning that all of your meals outside the house are completely prepped, taken care of. If you're going to eat at a restaurant, then you got to know what you can get at that restaurant. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to have all your food prepared in Tupperwares, take them with you, put them in a cooler. Maybe they don't need to be cooled. Whatever the bottom line is, get it done. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing is your preparation of food has to happen ahead of time, meaning that you can't start prepping your food at 11 o'clock on a Monday night when you're thinking about Tuesday because you are going to prep food in a much larger scale. Now when you're going to cook chicken, you don't just cook chicken, meaning a piece or two pieces or enough for today or tomorrow. You're going to cook. When I set up to cook chicken, I cook a minimum of 10 pounds at a time. You know, that's basically two days for me. <clears throat> I'm not going to turn on the stove or the barbecue unless I'm going to make some real forward progress. It doesn't make sense to have to set up and cook something when you're only going to do it for a meal or two. So that's another thing. Every time you cook, you have to be thinking big, quantity. Cook as much as you can every time you set up. Maybe you end up getting two, three, four days out of the deal. In a perfect world, you could cook once a week. Like maybe Sunday, you cook and you, excuse me here, um, maybe Sundays you cook and it lasts you all the way till the following Sunday. You know, not ter terribly realistic for somebody like me, knocking down five pounds a day, but for someone that's only going to eat a pound or a pound and a half, very realistic. Get it done. If your wife does your food prep, tell her not to cook just enough, excuse me, if your, if your wife's cooking dinner, tell her not to just cook enough chicken for dinner. Tell her to cook all the chicken in the goddamn bag. And there you go. You always want food ready to go. Whether, when I say ready to go, it doesn't have to be Tupperware. It could just be leftover food that you can put in Tupperwares quickly. It's all about time conservation and planning ahead. <clears throat> all right. The next thing with food prep that you have to remember is it always takes longer than expected. So going back to starting your prep at... 11 o'clock at night when you're trying to prep for tomorrow, it's not going to work. You've got to start your prep. Give yourself probably twice the amount of time that you're going to think it's going to take. Because yes, the cooking is, maybe you have that nailed as far as the time frame, but it's the cleanup that's such a pain in the ass. That's why I suggest that if you're going to cook, cook everything you got. Cook as much as you can. The cleanup is going to be damn near the same for one pound or ten pounds of whatever you're cooking. So, here are a few things that you can think about when it comes to staying on track with your diet because knowing what to do is one thing. Actually executing what you have to do is something completely different in time awareness, being efficient with your time, and just overall being able to negotiate life along with this new way of eating is a huge part of your success. John Anderson, D. 